Right, you now join us at the point where I've removed the timing chains and guides, which I chose to emphasize more on this when we rebuild the engine. I am now literally just taking out the kind of distributor drive shaft and then that will allow us to move to the next procedure, moving to the bottom end so we can turn the engine over. That is the shaft now removed. Right, the next stage of the process is to turn the engine over so that we can access all of the sump bolts to be able to remove. There's some of the debris from what you saw on top of the piston through its storage being not the best environment over the last amount of years. Right, that now allows us, okay, we're just about to remove the remaining parts of the water cooling housing system to allow access to get to the remaining sump bolts that are, as you can see, evident, unaccessible whilst they're on. As can obviously now be seen, bolts fully accessible, so we shall now start to remove. Right, all bolts now removed, allowing access to lift the sump from the engine. Still surprisingly clean for how the rest of the engine has been stored. As I have mentioned a couple of times, this engine is surprisingly clean on its internals. Uh, I would not be surprised if when I start to strip the big ends and the mains off it that we will find this engine has had a build in previous times because it is now 45 years old.